called the Christians and the Pagans. The Ambo called her uncle, said her up here for the holiday. Jane and I were having solstice, now we need a place to stay. And her Christ-loving uncle watched his wife hang Mary on a tree. He watched his son hang candy canes on neighbors, but died number three. He told his niece, it's Christmas Eve. I know our life is not your style. She said, Christmas is like solstice, and we miss you, and it's been a while. So the Christians and the Pagans are together by the table. Find your faith and come around. The best of the people, just before the meal was served, hands were held and prayers were said. And they go for peace on earth to all their gods and goddesses. The food was great, the tree loved him. The meal had gone without a hitch. Till Timmy said to Amber, Is it true that you're a witch? His mom jumped up and said, The pie's up burning, and she hit the kitchen. It was Jane who spoke and said it's true your cousin's not a Christian. But we love trees, we love to snow. The friends we have, the world we share. And you buy magic from your God, and we buy magic everywhere. So the Christians and the pagans sat together at the table, finding faith and common ground. The best. I think magic's in the learning, cause now when Christians sit with pagans, all they talk in pies are burning. <laughs> well, Amber tried to do the dishes, her aunt said, really, no, don't, don't bother. Amber's uncle saw how Amber looked like him, and like her father. He thought about his brother, how they hadn't spoken in a year. He thought he'd call him up and say, it's Christmas and your daughter's here. He thought of father's sons and brothers, saw his own son plug his sleeve, say, can I be a pagan? Dad said, we'll discuss it when they leave. So the Christians and the pagans sat together around the table, find your faith and come Trees in darkness, learning new ways from the old.